Welcome everybody. It's been almost a year since I've been able to do much of anything due to work. Just, I gotta learn to say no when they ask me if I can work longer. But I bought this truck July 4th actually of last year. So far I got the, let's see, the bumper, the grill, the headlights. Uh, I did a lot of body work. This used to be a step side. Um, dinking around with uh, powder coating. Found a color that I like. By the way, these, this is painted. Testing out, that's the powder coating crap. This is what it looks like, chrome, when I got them for 100 bucks. And actually, I'll use this one because you can see those little rivets. They're supposed to be Allen heads, are actually plastic. So when I powder coat, I have to drill those out, which thankfully is pretty simple to do so I can powder coat them but uh, the hood oh, that's a different subject because I've been working on deciding if I want to keep the hood the way it is make this thing kind of a show truck or well it's gonna be a show and go if anything it's gonna be a go because I got a 6.0 liter with a T56 six speed to put in here and debating on turboing the truck, but time is always an issue. So uh, I picked up a short box. It's a 92, you should probably say that. It's a 92, 1500, two wheel drive, five speed short box that had a step side box. And I got rid of the step side because I didn't like it. But um, the guy I got it from, basically, I bought this for next to nothing because I had to put new cab corners in, which I've already done, new rocker panels. I had to put a floor in on both sides. The rocker panels, not the floor, just the driver's side on this side and find out who parked next to this truck all the time because those are all dings from doors and whatnot because holy crap you'll probably in hindsight it would probably have been a little time efficient to just buy a new one there's the uh wrong exhaust i have on here just to make it quiet so i don't piss off my neighbors that was from my other truck i had that I sold, which I wish I didn't, because apparently I figured out I sold it for way too cheap. And yeah, so that's the 87. So that one I've had for four years, and this is as far as i gotten. Because this one took priority, because I can tow stuff with this. And that turned into me working 14 to... 16 hours a day for the last year i got a different job which pays better and i wish i could say it doesn't make me work as much but it's it's kind of spotty depends on the day but i mean i got a couple motors back there trying different things this is my bike that pretty much doesn't get to get ride rided much road much yeah that's it but um i got an lt1 for the for that truck over there which i've done this would be the what uh, four, five, six, sixth, sixth build the corvette lt1 uh, i have to get a cam lt4 hot cam for that i got pretty much it's dirty but i got <laughs> Pretty much stuff are all ready. Parts are all bought and whatnot. I just got to put it together. Paint some of the stuff. Um, I also got a that 6.0 liter LS motor, which is down there. 
I already been to the machine shop and everything. I have to get new rods and pistons because maybe I'm gonna put turbo in it, but I know you know you don't have to get new rods and pistons if with a stock block, but if you were to see uh, this is the stock piston and rods which the guy ran really low on oil and sees the bearings to the crank which I got re redone machine guy said yeah just throw those rods and pistons in the garbage so I figured oh well, that's not an expense I really wanted but working on it and then i found that 4.3 in a different video for in the junkyard for what did i wind up paying for that like 100 bucks because the transmission was still hooked to it and i figured back eh, for 50 bucks i'll get the training too but yeah i tore that apart all it need needed was a piston actually i think it would be this guy or I should hone out one of the cylinders. I can't figure out which piston it is, but one of them's all scored up, and the cylinder is barely barely has anything on it. That's all I could find when I took this thing apart. So, but yeah, put in my trolley. I haven't not even gotten to use that yet. I got, oh found found the exhaust. That was sharp, and. I put in a unload hook in the ceiling with a, I want to say, seven foot quarter inch angle iron across the, in the attic for support. That one has got almost pretty much the same amount of length in angle iron to keep that up for support. I um, actually used this one quite a few times. I fully dressed V8 with a transmission, still with all the fluids. Didn't even budge. I even had put up 2x4s, you know, to just in case, vertically, to take some of the load, you know, because you never know. You just never know. Got my nice Philco fridge. Yeah, the thing is awesome. But yeah, I just... Uh, I haven't done a video in a long ass time. I figured, you know, show you what I'm working on and, or I should say things I haven't had time to work on and want to work on. But what is the best thing about this new job? This is so I hear, this is so I hear about this new job is I don't have to work in winter, which is awesome because I've always worked every winter since I've started working. So... Last, 94 I started working. 1994, got a mold. So quite a few years. But I'm kind of looking forward to it because here in Minnesota, it is, I want to say, most the stuff I do for work, I can't do if it's snowing or a certain temperature. So I want to say a good four, four or five months I'll have off and I'm kind of excited because if that's true I mean I have so many parts stockpiled for this these two trucks that I could get them done painted all the body work done looking cherry to sit in the garage until summer and then I'll have no time to drive them but that's a different case in point but they'll look awesome <laughs> 